What's going on everybody? It's Josh. Good morning. Today is Saturday and we have arrived at the ICCC con. Uh, we are in a hotel. We just got our shuttle announcement that the van is coming to pick us up. Here in a couple minutes we will be leaving soon so I want to give a big thank you to Michael, the person who provided the hotel room, provided pretty much everything for this convention. Um, he is the showrunner so thank you very much to that. <clears throat> Hopefully next year we can be back. Today is the day I do the uh, live unboxing. Um, yesterday I picked out what I wanted to buy because it's gonna be like 20-ish minutes, so it's actually not gonna be that long. Billy made a good point. As long as I just keep talking while I'm unboxing, time will roll by pretty fast, so. We're gonna go get to the con. I believe it opens, well it's 9-12, so it's already open to VIP and general mission is at 10. Um, so we're gonna go walk around until about two o'clock and then I have to do some production stuff with them. Hopefully I'll be able to show you guys what they recorded um, in the video so i'll throw that up whenever i'm able to um but yeah we're gonna go wait on that right now and then i will see you guys very very soon so we have uh, arrived from our shuttle service we actually got taken to the back because that's where the, the guests and everything can go um but i want to feel like a normal person and i spy greg cook right now i believe is, yeah. where's he at Walking oh yeah i see greg so we're gonna go approach him say what's up to him and then um yeah go through the front and then then it's going to be a uh, convention time so this should be pretty fun i hope you guys are uh, enjoying this so far i'm very nervous so we'll see how this goes there is greg cook <laughs> there he is my man <laughs> so we uh as you saw in the last clip i finally scared greg if you guys don't know greg always scares me every time we uh are at the same convention together but he brought a prize let's get some light that was a weird 180 that i just did <laughs> but this is a Ben presto dragon ball statue that he photographed from billy you can get it. Yeah, yeah. got a darth vader i think you can it's see real it real dark I, I can't tell at all yeah well it's darth vader i promise yeah. <laughs> we'll show you inside because we'll go check these that way we don't have to bend them or anything but greg thank you very much sir because you the scarif trooper and what short trooper. Short trooper. What was the other one? I think it's short trooper. I thought you I sent me two. I did. I think they were both. Were short they both short? Yeah. Was it one like a close up and one yeah. like a bit? Okay, I couldn't remember if it was a death trooper or not. So this is actually very awesome, man. Thank you so much. I know you like Dragon Ball. I do, even though people don't like the, that. I like Dragon Ball, but that's a story for another day. I love you for all for supporting ICCC. I love you all for being down here in National Tennessee. And I'm going to cut this thing, and we're going to go in there, and we're going to check out the future of conventions. Woo! Thank you for being here. Come on in. <laughs> So we are to that point in the episode where this is, um, we're filming me, filming me. This is my guy Josh, camera guy. Um, I'm going to buy something from this booth right here. What are, what's your guys' booth? Z's Comic Layer. Z's Comic Layer? Yeah. Z's Comic Layer, so shout out to them for helping me stage this. Um, but I'm about to do this. Greg is going to film me getting filmed by this guy, and then uh, just a little behind the scenes. So we are officially on the floor for those. Uh, I'm gonna walk around now and try to show you some stuff. It is time check. It's 11 o'clock, so 11, 12, one. Uh, I have three, three and a half hours until I have to um, go on stage and do that. So hopefully I can get some footage uh, for you guys of the live stream because it's a 20 minute live stream so hopefully you guys watched it live um, but also big thank you to greg cook for recording that and i think billy's going to record the part on the the stage for me um just so i can get you guys a little bit like i said so let's walk around look at some toys and uh hopefully buy some more stuff so first little booth i have some uh three and three quarter black series at the last convention i did not uh show some love there's some lightsaber fighting going on over there but we uh Cover tank, 
With the new Black Series coming out, the uh, like the Force Friday release ones with the Mandalorian and that new Ray, honestly they look very, very, very good. Um, so I'll definitely be going out on Force Friday, trying to pick up some of those. Oh, got a, I don't know if that's a graded Ahsoka. No, I think it's just an acrylic case, but that's the vintage collection Ahsoka. So we have some uh, autograph pops with uh, JSA certified. That's awesome. Very, very cool. Some Toxic Crusaders, is that what this is? Yeah. Got some graded figures in the case. Very cool stuff. Let's just keep this rolling. Oh, this booth is, um, is at a lot of conventions. They're at Fanboy. They were at Lexington Comic Con. They just have a bunch of um, oh, old Star Wars stuff. Like, look at all these vintage collection figures here. Oh, there's toy bills. Toy bills! <laughs> uh, yeah, a bunch of stuff though. Shea Vizsla. Or Shea Vizsla, and then the Clone Wars Obi Wan. Okay. That's some awesome stuff though. So, I'm gonna go inside of this booth maybe. See if I can find some cool stuff. A bunch of Black Series. Got the Disney Trooper. I'm not sure why that's $40 though. That's the Kmart Gen. Kmart Ray and Kmart Kylo is $30. $55 for the Scout, $60 for the Wampa. So, wow. Some of their prices are obviously a little high on the market, but you know, it is what it is. Oh, wait, did I look at these? I did not look at these. I need to go look at these. So here we have some more uh, older, older black series, like the blue and the orange box. But what caught my attention was some figure arts up here. So 35 for Jenga Fett. I do not have him. Got 70 for Maul. But this 30 for uh, the Mimbin Trooper. I do not have a Mimbin Trooper yet. Billy, what do you think about this figure? Do you only have him? Yeah, yeah, he's good. You he's like him? really good, actually. I took some really good photos of him. So, really good photos. I got rid of my Black Series one, so I might get this. Yeah, I might get this one. I wish I had more Black Series. I mean, not Black Series. I wish I had more figure arts. So, I think I'm, I am going to do this. Maybe uh, do a little Big Dub bundle action. Try to get something else, because they have a bunch of uh, more VC stuff over here. Try to squeeze through here. Excuse me. See if there's any vintage collection that I can't live without. I don't know where their Clone Wars stuff is though. But God, these all look great. These are fantastic. So we rarely ever see uh, comic packs. This one is flipping amazing. The Jarrell and Dyer two pack. I think this is like a old Mandalorian, obviously from like the old Republic times. Uh, might not be, I don't know. I just know it's not canon anymore, which is unfortunate. It's very cool. But got some uh, some good comic packs, honestly. And the prices really aren't that bad. But this is awesome. If it wasn't 150 bucks, I'd probably try to do something because see she has soft goods with her skirt or whatever you want to call that, her half of a dress. They're just very, very cool figures, so. I'd love to see these redone again, but I highly doubt we're going to see that at all. Oh, that was, that was bad. I saw this booth setting up yesterday, and I did not uh, come... Oh my god, they have the at at Man, and it's so sealed. Holy smokes. God, I wonder how much that is. And they have the Y-Wing. They have the Jocasta New. They have the... Uh, Carbonite chamber. I just hate when places don't have prices on their stuff. It's just, I don't know, it's just a pet peeve of mine. So if you're watching this and you want to set up at toy shows, please put prices on your stuff. That way people don't have to ask. Because I feel like sometimes when people ask, they just shoot a random number off their hip and hope someone buys it. But this, this is awesome. I don't think I'll buy it because it's probably four or $500, but I'd love to own it one day. But over here is a bunch of um, vintage collection stuff. I don't know, maybe prices are on the bottom? Okay, some of the prices are on the bottom. <laughs> what did they turn into? But these are, uh, these vintage collection, they're, they're awesome. Is this the old one? 
Yeah, that's the old one. 35 isn't bad for the old one. But that definitely happened because they uh, brought the new ones out. That's a big new one, so. Alright, I think I am going to ask him what's going on with the uh, ad at. Oh, they look at you like you're crazy. So, so, yeah. Is this the new one? <laughs> yeah, it must be the new one. <laughs> Alright. Time to ask some questions. So we're going to do a little pop love right now. Uh, once again, this booth yesterday had some honestly pretty good pops. Uh, Billy and I were talking off camera. I like when booths um, don't have just all commons. Like, yes, there is a need for... Uh, booths to provide the commons where you can do like the two for 15 or two for 20 um, but like Looking at them wise like I want to see the cool exclusives and stuff that I very well could have missed out on so Like there, there's like the Error Batman chase Speedy Gonzalez Merle Dixon like this is just cool stuff. So yeah No, uh, no Dragon Ball pops from what I can see though That's very cool. How much do they have on that? 50 I don't think Karina really cares about it that much. Plus the boxes are kind of scraped up a little bit. So, not really looking for for much, but it's hot in here today. That's for sure. Very hot. Sorry, man. The flocked. There's the toucan. I need to go find Billy, though, and Greg. Let's go find them, see what they're doing. There's the booth where I bought the stuff from, which you guys just saw. But I would like to figure out. Oh, there's Billy. I see him. Let's go find him. But here we have uh, Guy Giltris, who's the uh, cartoonist for Jim, Jim Henson. He's got a bunch of these very cool pops that he draws on or with uh paint i believe where is oh yeah this jim henson one very very cool they had he had an aerial one yesterday i don't know if it's sold that's not it i wanted to get it for karina but i think it's sold uh yes it did did that other aerial pop sell i figured so good for you guys <laughs> so okay well they don't have it, but here's, here's a good one. So it's very, very cool. Alright. Yeah, back to Billy. I don't think I looked at this booth yesterday at all. Actually. Bill. Oh, Billy, I don't want to interrupt him. Some vintage. Oh, that was loud. Yeah, let me watch TV cash whatever. It's like the new vintage collection stuff. Oh, wow, they have the Republic fighter tanks. They have some cool video or, uh, vehicles. Sorry that this video is all over the place right now. But I'm trying to just keep it rolling and just kind of walk through the con as if you guys were really here. 20 isn't bad on him on card. Care of Trooper for 12. I'd love to like come across a steal where they're like five bucks a piece and just buy a bunch. That is not going to happen. But yeah, I bought that and then I think those two? Or no, him and him uh, to open up on stage. Not sure if I already said that or not, but. Very cool though. I haven't seen this uh, R2 in person yet. The weathering looks really good on it, so I'm happy about that. Ooh, this Death Trooper. Damn, I can't believe this Death Trooper is that expensive. That'd be cool to have a Vic sign. I got a cool poster signed um, by the guy who played the like the iconic Death Trooper, the one that had the um, like the Stormtrooper doll in his hand in the movie. That actor is here, so I got his autograph on a big poster, which is awesome. So, all right, next booth. So this is something super cool. It's um, his name is Andrew Lawden. It's this guy right here. Um, this gentleman. Um, in episode one, he was the choreograph uh, for all the lightsaber um, fights, like, and he was the Qui-Gon stand-in. But like during the Duel of Fates, like if you watch the um, the behind the scenes, you'll recognize him because he always wears like the little headband thing. Um, but super cool that they got him here, and you would never know who he was um, otherwise. So I definitely want to just give him some love. So 
Shout out to Andrew for being here. And it's super cool that he's doing this with the kids. I wish Parker was here to to do this. That's very, very funny. But this is awesome. So, all right, now we're walking around. So new booth. We did see this yesterday. Some Dragon Ball statues. This is very, very sketchy. There's some cool ones. I definitely want to get more of the, uh, like the band, oh got the Grandis, Grandista, I think they're called. Honestly, I'm not for sure. But these are some, some cool ones. This shelf just looks so sketchy. I think I'm done looking at that stuff. Couple of Mexico figures. Netflix Daredevil. Got the Infinity Gauntlet thing. And uh, Andy Hurd is on stage right now. He was an Ewok um, in obviously Return of the Jedi. And he was also a, a goblin in Harry Potter from Goblet of Fire, I believe. Um, so they're doing a little interview with him right now. So I'm trying to, what is this? Six scale Shadow Stormtrooper? What is this? Uh, but these are very good prices. This is a movie realization. Got the Shadow Trooper, got Jango Fett. There's a Darth Vader back there. So these are very, very cool. But something that caught my eye that you uh, really don't see ever is this, this three pack from Target. 65 bucks. Oh, it's tough, I don't know. But this is definitely a very, very cool one right here. I would love it. Um, it's definitely one I don't have, and I don't think I, I actually I do. I think I do have this one. So this might be a, this might be a purchase. We'll see. Has a little bit of damage on top, so I don't know. So here is something crazy that. All of us here will probably never ever see. It's a rocket firing Boba Fett graded at an 85. Um, obviously, it's $200,000. It is absolutely insane. So, it's ever here. That is freaking crazy. I think only the employees got these. So, here's a $200,000 figure. Now, this is gonna be, I'm trying to make like literally document everything for my video. No, I think this is great. Yeah. Since he just sent me some helpful advice. What's the advice since he sent you? <laughs> oh wow. Was it in a private message? No, it was in was the group chat. Oh. We were talking about something completely else. Whew, four minutes. Let's go. Wish me luck. Got Josh Pence. Gary be a superstar. <laughs> Yo, we out here. <laughs> we out here. What's this play? Disease comic layer. That's where I bought it from. Oh uh, yeah, shout him out. Sir on. 738 I mean, 4B85. Right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, just oh, right. walk out and then go sit down after you walk yeah. 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 He said you can follow me out Hunter, and then just, and then just sit right okay. from Dayton, Ohio. Come just straight, on, up, straight in. And we are recording live for YouTube now. No live. Welcome, Josh. Come on, brother. Have a seat with me. All right, so you walked around this convention and you were shocked at what were you looking for, what were you trying to find, or did you just find the item that spoke to you the most? To be honest, this is what spoke to me the most. This is what I wanted to unbox. Uh, my main thing is uh, Star Wars based off our brand new channel. If you are a Star Wars fan, I'm going to be trying to figure out how to do this. Um, and like I said, they did a sale for it last year at the high ground, so it's all kind of time to get to the team of jobs. Is it still good with the sale for it? Uh, I'm unfortunately not, so it's not, but if I did it, yeah, I'm going to be doing it. So I went over to buy these, and honestly, just to the detail of it, they won't get to see as much, but you can kind of tell like the weathering. There's all kinds of battle gear, everything. These, the last one, the new evidence. 
Daniel Logan is on stage. I don't know if you can see him. Shout out to Daniel Logan. And a big thank you to Billy and Greg uh, for filming some of the behind the scenes stuff. Thanks for the shout out. Yeah. 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 My yeah. only two friends. Yeah. Yeah. That, was, that, was like, awesome. that ended up real. That was awesome. Yeah. So um, I think I need to go down and probably get some more footage of the door. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Greg got Boom. a little hand. Hold on. This. In case you guys aren't aware, this is not even available in the United States. And he got Mr. James Arnold Taylor's autograph on it. That's a good looking autograph too. Is that white? Yeah. That looks good. I like it with the armor. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very cool. So we're going to go back down there, get some more footage, and uh, hang out a little bit. Guys, we are back at the hotel room. Um, it was a very, 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 very long day, in my opinion. It's yeah, like it 6 o'clock right now, I think, maybe 6.30. It was long, but... Little little point. Do you feel as exhausted as you do at other cons? When no, you're all day? no. Because we were able Mike to sit down. was talking to Greg and I about like yeah. it's such a chill atmosphere. Like it doesn't, yeah. it does not feel like celebration. Celebration no. after like three or four hours, I feel like it's. Three I feel or four horrible. Days. Yeah. My back's killing me. I wore my backpack all day, like yeah. I do there. But there, my back feels horrible. It's just crazy. Yeah. I don't know Plus, it's wild. and I don't think I actually showed like the convention floor. Um, but it's like a little like arena, um, so you have like stadium seating and everything. So it's very very cool. Um, but side note, I do not believe I showed this, but I got this for Parker. I actually called him um, and listed off some of the Dragon Ball figures, and he wanted the Super Saiyan Goku Black. I believe I showed you guys the Minbin Trooper I picked up. And shout out to Willie. Um, he gave me this box of um, Dragon Ball card game things. I think that's what it is. Dragon Ball Super card game. Um, I'm giving this to Parker. It's an empty box, um, but Willie thought of me because it was obviously Dragon Ball. But I'm going to give it to Parker so he can put his cards in there. Um, also got this Clone Wars autograph um, from the table. His name is Cass Anvar, which if you guys know anything about An Anvar, that's close to Anvar, which we don't talk about that. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty, <laughs> pretty good. Jesus, it's a pretty good, um, it was like 15 bucks, and big shout out to Greg Cook. I, I did not get him enough on camera today. We hung out for hours. It was Billy's first time meeting him. It's just, Greg's such an awesome dude, and he gave me this picture, which I believe I tried to show earlier, but it did not show, so I'm very bummed I did not get him to sign it like I wanted him to, um, but I think that's it. And then I got that 16 by 20 um, Death Trooper poster sign which I, I do not want to unroll that right now so I'll show you guys that in a later video I do not know if this is going to be the end of the video um, because we are going to a hip-hop trooper if you guys know the hip-hop trooper um, and uh, at, at like 10 o'clock later tonight um, there's like a little like after party um, down the road at something so I don't know if we'll go to that or not um, we'll just see how we feel and see who all is going but anyways, just in case this is the end of the video, if you did enjoy it, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Once again, thank you to Michael um, Havens and Nat for kind of linking this all up together. So big thank you to those guys. This convention was awesome. Prices were great on everything, even the food. I don't know. It just, it's a different type of thing because if you guys haven't um, heard me say or, or ever attended this place, he says that this is a convention for collectors. So everything was great prices, everything, it was reasonable, don't you think? Oh, yeah, everything, everything. I mean, there was stuff that we got, like, uh, that was in Walmart right now, and it, it was cheaper here. Yeah, we got these, the new VCs, yeah, the new, stuff that hasn't hit shelves in the area at all. Ten we bucks. for $3 cheaper yeah, than what they're so, going to sell it at retail. So it, it was, I don't know, it was fantastic. But anyways, I'm going to end this video, but I love you guys. Thank you for the support. Subscribe if you're new. We're back on the grind. We got Cincinnati Comic Expo next weekend. And I have no idea what's after that. But I love you guys. Thank you for the support. I'll see you in the next video. And as always, may the fix be with you.